Hey everybody, Will Parker here, back for another Freestyle Friday where I improvise a song based off topics y'all have suggested. This week we have quite a few topics, some great suggestions here. We have dinosaurs, beets, that's B-E-E, -E, like two E's, uh, like the vegetable, uh, joy, chewing gum, Minecraft, self-care, ninjas, anti-disestablishmentarianism, garbage day, why trees fall down in storms, rivers, turning frowns upside down, hydration, humanitarian terrariums, attitude of gratitude, and pushing through hard days. And I'm gonna try to push through uh, this, this challenge here today. But first, a oh, sip of coffee. Get my brain going. This is my, one of my favorite muds, Mr. Rogers, all kinds of quotes. All right, I think I'm ready. Here we go. This dinosaur, he was a T-Rex, and his name was Brad. He was pretty good at self-care and using all the time wisely that he had. He brushed his teeth in the morning and used sugar-free chewing gum like the whitening kind. He flossed real well and he went to bed on time. And in the morning he was well rested. You could tell by his bright bushy eyes and his big fancy smile. Joy in his heart, yeah, hanging out all the while with his dinosaur friends playing video games. You'd be surprised that T-Rex are really good at Minecraft. It's insane. Even with the tiny arms, they can hold the controllers and this T-Rex named Brad, man, he was kind of holy roller. He attended to his spiritual life daily. He had a really good morning routine and was just a pro at self-care. He took out the garbage on garbage day, he took out the recycling on the recycling day, and really just knew his stuff. He was well read and uh, he knew the definition of anti-disestablishmentarianism and was really just on top of things as a T-Rex, you know, a lot of positivity. But then one day, to his dismay, Brad the T-Rex realized he had to say something was wrong in his dino world. You see, unfortunately, all the dinos were hurled. Not an asteroid, not an earthquake. No, that's not what this is about, you see. Brad and all the dinos had to deal with a terrible drought. Yeah, so much for their planned celebration. They just had to focus on hydration. All of them were running low on the water they needed. So they thought they needed some extra help. But what do they do with the cards they've been dealt? Yeah, they're thirsting in the desert. What can they do? Oh, they were going berserk. So thirsty day and night, not sure what to do. But they saw a light because Brad remembered a friend he had. Yeah, it was a farmer ninja who knew how to irrigate. And so Brad called in the farmer ninja, a black belt in agriculture who knew how to prevent the dinos from decaying and just being some food for vultures. So the ninja farmer came through, irrigated the whole dino land like a zoo so that everyone could have all the water they needed. And, it, and on that day, irrigation was born, and the dinosaurs, because of the farmer ninjas, ended up not going extinct for many, many more years. And at last, finally, they did get some rain, uh, actually some thunderstorms, and they noticed that trees were falling down because of the wind, and uh, they decided that maybe they should 
start a garden at this point because things had really turned around as far as as far as the whole trout goes so brad and his dino friends and the farmer ninjas too decided to plant a garden full of their favorite dinosaur food which was beets 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 lots of beets 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 lots of beets lots of beets 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 They planted beets by the river. It was so cool, man, they shiver. They liked to bathe in the river, too. It was pretty fancy. Dino Zoo, yeah. They had so much fun, finally hydrated. Everyone was drinking the water, felt so good. And then they knew what they should do. Yes, they did. They knew they should have an attitude of gratitude oh yeah they were feeling brat glad turning their frowns upside down and pushing through those hard days that they had in the drought but now they were all amazed they also created a humanitarian terrarium in which they also planted beets, 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 lots of beets, 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 dinosaurs love beets, lots of beets, 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 cats and beets and cats and beets and cats and beets and cats and beets 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 lots of beets and beets and beets and beets and beets and beets and beets lots of beets and beets and beets and beets and beets. All right, I think that's everything. Yeah, thank you all so much for your suggestions. And I'll be back next week with another Freestyle Friday. And if you subscribe to my channel, uh, you won't miss a one. So please subscribe, like this video, share it, and I would be much appreciative. Thank you all so much. Oh, also, I would be remiss if I were to not plug my brand new album, Imagine Land, with it, which is out now. And you can find the link in the description. Have a great week, y'all. Thanks for the awesome suggestions. That was fun.